Hi, Sarnia. So yeah, this is weird. Uh, I'm back. I'm gonna try and do the show again. I don't know when I'm gonna come back and do it again. Uh, but for right now, I'm gonna tell you guys some stuff. What's going on in this town? What's going on with me? Um, I've since moved to an apartment. I'm in the heart of downtown now. Things are going pretty good. You know, lots of stuff going on. For everyone who uh, kept up with everything that I was doing, thank you. Uh, for everyone who only knew what I was doing after watching these videos, um, here's a clip of everything I've been doing since last time. <laughs> The death of me, the rest would be successfully progressed. It'd be never giving up. Now, who would have guessed that'd be? Time. Merry Christmas. Merry And I'm thinking he just lyrical, visual, focused and dope as some say a miracle. Oh. <laughs> I'm a zombie. <laughs> Now cry later, homie, you don't Till the day we meet again, I'ma carry on strong uh, You can find all the videos and the links in the description of all the stuff I've been doing if you're interested, if you're not not a big deal. But yeah, what am I doing right now? Um, I just finished up my first feature-length documentary that took about nine months to make, uh, and it's called Indian Givers. We had our first screening at Skits High School, uh, and it's gonna be online for free. So here's the trailer. I wanna give an understanding of First Nations issues today, why everything is the way it is, and to show that we aren't these extinct species of people. Maybe we <laughs> got the chance before you settle down. Not a good place to be. They're now calling it uh, genocide, and it's true. It's, it is genocide. We were stripped of the Indian. Everyone just makes comments. And eventually, I just gave up. Didn't seem worth it anymore. I made a comment about how good our relationship was here, and the chief said to me, um, "Non-natives always say that when there are no problems." So First Nations actually own, legally own, half of Canada. Yeah, and they just. Okay, then anyway. Yep. I'm gonna be awake right now. And they weren't even Indians. We called them that by accident. And we still call them that. Like we knew in a month that it wasn't Indians, but we just don't give a shit. <laughs> So that'll be online pretty soon, uh, and the link will be in the description eventually when it's available. And um, if you want to check out the Rocket Ship Productions Facebook page, link in the description, give it a like, and you can get updates on what I'm doing and what everyone that I like is doing in this town. What else am I doing? Uh, oh, um, this summer, I'm making my musical directorial debut with Sarnia's production of Avenue Q that rhymed unintentionally, or was it? Myself and Diversion Entertainment, responsible for Rent, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee title of show, has recruited me to direct a bunch of puppets who swear and fuck on stage. Do -do -do. Ba -da -ba. Is for porn. What are you doing? Why you think the net was born? Porn, porn, porn. That's gross. You're a pervert. Sticks and stones, Kate Monster. No, really, you're a pervert. Normal people don't sit at home and look at porn on the internet. What? You have no idea. You're a little bit racist. Well, you're a little bit too. We're all a little 
little bit racist I think that I would have to agree with you We're glad you do It's sad but true If you were gay That'd be okay I mean cause hey I'd like you anyway Because you see If it were me I would feel free to say that I was gay, but I'm not gay. We're gonna keep updating with some videos. We're gonna take the puppets around town. Please tell your friends about it. This is what our cast and our puppets look like. We got them sent to us straight from Broadway. The shows will be July 26th to the 28th at the Sarnia Library Theater. You can get $15 advance tickets at Coffee Culture and Cheeky Monkey. But yeah, so jam-packed summer for me, and I hope to bring all my friends along with me to enjoy everything that I'm doing. A new update, Rocket Ship Productions has a new intern by the name of Sadie Mallon, who I'm a huge fan of, and her work is probably better than mine, so I decided to bring her onto the team so we could make equally amazing things. Check out some of the videos that she's been doing. She also helped me with the Indian Givers documentary. Just a lovely human being. Over the last while, my friend Adam Miner at DNA Studios has been up to some awesome stuff. He's been doing some work with Jim Chevalier to release a single that I'm going to release a music video for very soon, along with releasing pretty much all of Chevalier's things on a USB drive, I think is the plan that they're trying to accomplish. So here's a clip of what that music video might look like. <laughs> Minor and DNA have also been working on the new Nick Swales album, Variant. I was working on the project for a little while. Here's a clip of the old music video that we made for I Wish For You. Be stronger than those who wish to tear you apart. There will be a CD release party June 9th with the new Nick Swales band and the release of the album Variant. It's at the Trinity Lounge. Please come check it out and link in the description for the Facebook page for Variant Sessions, the event, whatever else I can stick in there. And also here's a live recording that I made at DNA Studios of a song that will be featured on the album. All my nights and all my Link in the description for the full video. A little while back, I had the pleasure of filming one of my new favorite bands, Five Alarm Funk at Patty Flaherty's. Here's a clip of that. I've also put a link in the description to the Patty Flaherty's Facebook page so you can figure out what other bands are coming. Lots of fantastic bands always coming through that place. Oh, an art walk happened. Look how much fun it was. These are clips of the Ross Symmetry Fashion Show, which segues nicely into something I was asked to report on. Upcoming at 148 Front Street, the Black and White Party, the official opening weekend celebration of Ross Symmetry next first Friday, July 6th from 6 to 9 p.m. Featured designer slash artist Julia Cross. This is on all month, and there will be an after party at Patty Flaherty's. The return of Five Alarm Funk, the band I just told you about. More info and stuff in the description below. All right, now for that segment where I tell people how much I like them. I currently am enjoying the following people. Jenna Berry, Hey Ocean, George Watsky, Live in Bellwoods, Moon Point, Southern Souls, The Lunchbox Standard, Nick Willis Photography, Sunday Photos, Proper Photography, and Mike McKay's and The Grove Productions. Please check out all those people in the description. If you like Rocket Ship Productions on Facebook, I will be updating about all those people whenever I can. They're people that I like to try and promote because they're awesome and not enough people know about them. At least for my standards anyway. I also want to talk about something called the Indie 
Indie Post, something I was involved with Marty Oblock, Cam Starr, Ryan Farr, and others. It's a tiny little magazine that you can find floating around downtown that basically lets you know what's going on with strictly the cool stuff. I don't always get to make these shows and let everyone know what's going on in this town and not everyone gets to see this show because they don't want to click on something with my face in it. So you get to check this out and you can check it out online, it's on Facebook, the links are in the description, do whatever you gotta do to find out what's going on in this town with all the super cool stuff. And something else that's happening when I'm not doing stuff or I can't do anything, there's something called The Show with Mr. David Burroughs and he has way more free time to make these shows about stuff that's going on in Sarnia. So if you can't come to me to find out what's going on or watch me talk about myself or whatever, you can check out David Burroughs and The Show. But for the time being, since I do have the camera on and I'm gonna spend some time to make this little video and put it out there during my free time, here's a list of all the shit that's going on in the next little while. Hopefully this video gets up in time before some of these things actually happen. Empty Spaces presents Week Fest, a two-day festival at the Trinity Lounge featuring Quaker Parents, John McKeel, Cold Warps, and the Ellen Both on June 13th and 14th. Hidden Talents presents Faces of Broadway at the Imperial Theater, the people that brought you the Nightingale Chorus every Christmas from June 14th to the 17th. Free Movie Night at the Library playing Gattaca, Monday, June 25th. Shine a Light, a night of music, motivation, and hope at the Dow People Place, June 29th. The Show with David Burroughs presents Lost Souls Hip Hop Showcase at the Mule Saturday, June 30th. Up and Coming Artist Exhibition, Lambton County Edition at the Lawrence House, July 6th till August 1st. And of course, mine and Diversion Entertainment's performance of Avenue Q at the Sarnia Library Theatre from July 26th to 28th. And the show with David Burroughs presents the Lost Souls More Than Music Summer Party on the Duke d'Orleans, Saturday, July 28th. I do my best, Sonia, and I'm sorry if I don't see you again for a little while. You didn't see me for a while because I was on hiatus and I couldn't get a lot of work done because of my health. I went into the hospital for a little while and I was on my back for a month due to uh, some intense arthritis pain that I experience every day of my life. So I do my best to try and keep pumping my own stuff out there and to keep everyone else's stuff recognized in this town. I feel like if you have the capability of doing something, you shouldn't waste that. You should do it and you should contribute to this community, this growing community. And there are a lot of other things that I'd like to be doing. I'd like to be dancing all the time. As some of you might know, I'm a huge fan of dancing and I don't get to do a lot of those things. I don't get to walk downstairs properly or do a lot of things that people, I think, take for granted. But I'm I'm trying to do as many things as possible and to keep active as much as my body will allow. So I want all of you to kind of take that, especially at a time when we live in a community where there is a lot of sadness and a lot of depression and a lot of giving up on life itself. And I want you all to realize that you are capable of much more than you think and much more than, much more than some other people in this town who try to do as much as they possibly can. So take a moment and look at yourself, think about who you are and realize that you're awesome and rock it. Do, 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 do. Rock, rock, rock it, ship till the end of the night. Rock, rock it, ship until the end of your life. Rock, rock it, ship till the end of the video. Rock it, ship until you make it right. Rockin' it shit, cause what else could you do? We gonna rock it, stop talking it, talking it through. Look at you, walk it through, cause you can do. Put a sock in it, walk off the talk, and rock all the socks, and you're stuck in my sock drawer, dude. Do it through, it ain't hard, yeah. You're living in Sarn, yeah, and it's okay, and it's all great. Just saying in the 3K, it's a small world with a big craze and a big way. Hey, do you do today? It's a rig day, you get to win every time you play. And rock, 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 rock it shit till the end of the night. Rock, rock it shit until the end of your life. Rock, rock, Rocket ship till the end of the video. Rocket ship until you make it 